Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Aliens Invaded. I, Chef Become the Strongest Human. Chapter 1, I Want to Be a Chef. As soon as Zhang Tian walked out of the bookstore, he met a familiar yet unfamiliar best friend, Huang Xing. No, old Zhang, are you serious? Huang Xing approached Zhang Tian, looked at the chef's reference book he was holding, and screamed in shock. You are so powerful. Instead of applying for the Warrior University, guarding the space-time gate and killing aliens to show off the power of our human race, you have to become a little cook. Zhang Tian shook his head, I'm not that powerful. If I really want to kill the aliens, it won't be my turn. After saying that, Zhang Tian hugged the textbooks he bought and walked towards the training school. Aren't you awesome? Huang Xing glared and hurriedly caught up with Zhang Tian, the day before yesterday I took you to my farm to taste fresh beef, but an accident happened. When the mutated blood cow rushed over like crazy, I thought he was going to die. Good guy, you rush over and grab the horns with your bare hands and knock that old cow to the ground. It's so handsome that I'm drooling. Isn't that awesome? Huang Xing danced and screamed as he spoke. Zhang Tian. Prepare well for the martial arts exam. I thought you were a martial arts scumbag before and I didn't force you. I didn't expect you to hide it so deeply. Huang Xing said earnestly, when the time comes, we will have accomplished what we have learned in the university, kill everyone and serve the human race. What an honor. Faced with Huang Xing's chatter, Zhang Tian did not answer, his thoughts racing. To be precise, he is not from this world. He comes from the earth and was once a mercenary. After he died of exhaustion, he came to this parallel world of Blue Star. This is a world where the level of technological development is higher than that of my own hometown, and it also has unique disasters. Disaster of time and space. The space-time gate that appeared out of thin air opened the starry sky path connecting different worlds, bringing about wars between different races. Along with the disaster war came the spiritual energy coming from behind the door, allowing humans to practice and resist the invasion of alien races. The resources of the new world opposite the time and space gate have also changed the world. However, after the time and space gate, the power of thermal weapons was weakened or even scrapped, and the human race fell behind the starry sky and the world in cultivation. The human race is in decline and struggling to survive. The slightly stable situation we have today was achieved with the blood of countless ancestors of the human race. Young people with cultivation qualifications all yearn to go to the Warrior University to study and improve their strength, step into the vast starry sky behind the time and space gate, and attack all races on the road of starry sky war to show off the power of the human race. Old Zhang, just promise me. Transferring to our elite class is just a matter of hello from the old man. Huang Xing dragged Zhang Tian and begged, don't waste such a good talent like yours. Zhang Tian remained silent. The talent Huang Xing mentioned was the special physique he had in his previous life on Earth. He has stronger muscle fibers and bone density, and his internal organs and internal air pressure are far higher than ordinary people. And he has better endurance and extraordinary will. In addition, he has the same recovery power as cheating, allowing him to quickly relieve fatigue and heal wounds. Like a superhuman, with this talent, he had the confidence to give up his hobby and become a mercenary to earn money for his parents' medical treatment. Unfortunately, his parents failed to hold on in the end, and he was disheartened. After fighting without sleep for seven days, he died of exhaustion. When he came to the parallel world Blue Star, not only was he three years younger, his parents were in good health, and he was finally able to put his passion into his hobbies. Thinking of this, Zhang Tian looked at Huang Xing seriously, I want to be a chef. Huang Xing was dumbfounded. He looked at Zhang Tian for a long time and then slapped his thigh fiercely, what a sin. At this time, Zhang Tian, who had already reached the floating bus stop, stopped and looked at Huang Xing, who was about to speak, okay, no need to persuade me. Go home early. I have to go to class. Alas, Huang Xing also sighed, looking at Zhang Tian who was stranded in front of him, he stopped talking and just thought about what to do when the time came. You should go home early after studying. I heard news from the old man recently that it's not peaceful. Huang Xing looked left and right, then approached Zhang Tian mysteriously, I heard that the gangsters in the starry sky sect are making a lot of noise. Hum, Zhang Tian nodded, he knew this starry sky gate. To put it simply, it is rape. 
They believe in the alien race and feel that surrendering to the alien race is the bright future of the human race. Zhang Tian was also surprised by this. A good person should be treated like a beast instead of a good person. Not long after, the bus arrived. Zhang Tian waved goodbye to Huang Xing and got on the suspended bus. After sitting firmly, the bus levitated into the air and slid quickly. Zhang Tian couldn't help but admire how convenient Blue Star's advanced technology was. But I heard that a lot of technology behind the space-time gate will malfunction, and I don't know if it's true or not. The train arrived at the station soon. After Zhang Tian got off the bus, he looked around. This place was in the suburbs and was obviously much deserted and empty. Not long after getting off the car, Zhang Tian had already arrived at the training school he signed up for. Looking up, it was obvious that this place was renovated from a dilapidated factory. After entering the gate and crossing the open land, Zhang Tian found the teaching building. There are many people up and down the teaching building, all here to learn a skill and make a living. Although this place is a bit remote and the environment is a bit poor, the advantage is that the tuition is cheap. Zhang Tian even inspected the teaching staff here, and they were very professional. After finding his classroom, there were already a few people inside, including a young guy like himself, who had yellow hair on his head, and a few aunts who were chatting happily. There are all kinds of kitchen utensils in the classroom, as well as countertops, obviously for students like them to operate. Seeing this, Zhang Tian couldn't wait and his eyes lit up. In this world, his family conditions are not good. He lives in a low-cost public housing and eats in a public cafeteria. Therefore, there is no kitchen at home for him to show off his skills. Now that I see the tools in front of me, I can't hold back anymore. I open the book I just bought, read and play with it, and start previewing. Time passed by minute by minute. Zhang Tian was immersed in the fun he loved and naturally did not notice the passage of time. However, other people in the classroom seemed a little impatient after waiting for so long. Those aunts gathered together and couldn't help but talk. Teacher, why aren't you here yet? That's right, what time is it? I have to go back to pick up the kids from school. No, that's why I say it's cheap but not good, so I'll give you your money back. But the young Xiao Wangmao was really impatient. He came to the corridor and looked outside, with doubts on his face, it's strange. When did the door outside close? While he was chanting, he vaguely heard something moving in the classroom next door. He curiously walked over and opened the door to the classroom next door. The red blood that caught his eyes and the fishy smell that hit his face made him fall to the ground. There were corpses all over the ground inside, with blood flowing across them, and in the center stood a man wearing a half-pig head mask. The man was holding an old man in his sixties in his left hand, and the sharp knife held in his right hand had already pierced the old man's throat. Hearing the noise, the man turned his head and looked at Xiao Wangmao. It's not your turn in the classroom yet, why are you in a hurry? The corners of the man's mouth exposed under the half mask slightly raised. Laugh, he pulled out the sharp knife and walked towards Xiao Wangmao step by step. Xiao Wangmao wanted to get up and run away, but his legs couldn't stop trembling. He kicked wildly on the ground and couldn't get up. Seeing the man in the pig head mask getting closer and closer, Xiao Wangmao turned pale and couldn't help shouting, Don't come over, don't come over. The shrill screams passed through the open classroom door, making the masked man stunned for a moment. He raised his head and clicked his tongue in annoyance. This classroom is smaller, and part of the sound insulation array is on the classroom door, so this opening naturally fails. Your voice is too loud. The masked man approached Xiao Wangmao sullenly. His slender arms had terrifying power. He pinched the other person's face with one hand and pulled him up from the ground. The sharp knife in the other hand pierced the throat. Xiao Wangmao's body hanging in the air fluttered a few times, and finally gradually fell down weakly. Killing people. Screams came from outside the door. It was those aunts who heard Xiao Wangmao's cry and couldn't help but curiously came over to take a look. It didn't matter. One of them fainted on the spot, while the others screamed and ran down the corridor. Hey, the masked man did not chase him, but shook his head, can you run away? After all, this was a big operation, and he wasn't the only one involved. The masked man shook his head and walked into the classroom to avoid leaks. As soon as he entered the door, he saw Zhang Tian who was busy there. Zhang Tian, 
who was still wearing his high school uniform, was concentrating on chopping white radish. Oh, you're practicing quite seriously. The masked man clucked his tongue as he walked toward Zhang Tian, he was so fascinated that he didn't even react to such a big movement. Unfortunately, what I hate the most is people like you who study seriously. Why are you pretending? As soon as he finished speaking, the masked man waved the sharp knife in his hand and stabbed Zhang Tian's neck, intending to stab him through. At this moment, Zhang Tian, who was still concentrating on chopping vegetables, suddenly turned around. The reflected light from the kitchen knife in his hand dazzled the masked man's eyes. When his vision returned, there was no trace of the hand holding the knife, and only the smooth cut surface spurted out blood. Ah Wu, the masked man was about to scream, but was blocked by the carrot that was suddenly pushed towards him, and he could only whimper. Immediately afterwards, he saw Zhang Tian in front of him who was wearing a high school uniform. He quickly took out the boning knife on the table and cut off his wrist muscles with one knife. And on the two thighs, I don't know when, there were two more blood holes. It wasn't over yet, Zhang Tian struck out as fast as lightning. After stabbing the masked man's dantian and heart, he stabbed the masked man between his eyebrows with a sharp knife. Pass through the skull. Boom, the masked man fell to the ground, and the broken mask revealed a frightened expression underneath. Zhang Tian's green face was reflected in the gradually losing luster of his eyeballs. Before he died, the masked man had only one idea. Is this AF King High School student? Zhang Tian had no control over what the other person was thinking before he died. Right now, there was a fatal problem before him. This group of people from the Starry Sky sect caused chaos and set up a fake training school, where they actually committed evil deeds. So, didn't my tuition fees go to waste? Zhang Tian's anxious mouth trembled slightly, and he kicked the debris on the ground in front of him out of anger. In order to support his dream, his parents generously used their hard-earned money to pay for his tuition. Now there is no place to learn cooking, and no money. Damn it! Zhang Tian angrily took out his cell phone and dialed the patrol number. Leave professional matters to professionals. Fight against criminals and let the uncles who patrol the government handle it, hoping to recover their tuition fees. But Zhang Tian tried repeatedly, but his mobile phone had no signal. It seems that these starry sky sect people are well prepared, and even the signal has been blocked. Go out and have a look. If you leave this area, the signal should be restored. Zhang Tian thought about it for a moment, put away his teaching materials, and prepared to go out. As soon as he reached the door of the classroom, Zhang Tian turned back, took a large kitchen knife in his hand, and quietly took it out. His classroom itself is at the far end. Follow the stairs at the end out of the teaching building, and turn to the side and you will see the wall. The wall was not high in Zhang Tian's eyes, and he could jump out with a single leap. But on the wall in front of him, there were strange lines smeared with blood, and there was a faint red glow. This place is sealed by the formation. No wonder there is no signal. Zhang Tian looked up at the faintly visible light red barrier on the wall and said to himself, Time and space disasters appear, spiritual energy pours out, and technologies from various worlds follow. Formation is an extrastellar technology widely used in human society today. Just like his mobile phone, there is a commercial formation that enhances battery life, is waterproof, fireproof and anti-fall. Compared with his original world, the technology in this world added a mysterious color. Student, if you don't stay in the classroom and have a good class, what are you doing here? A voice interrupted Zhang Tian's thoughts. Zhang Tian turned around and saw a bald man in a suit slowly walking over. The bald man was muscular and muscular, and the suit on his body was stretched tight. The tall figure blocked the sun, and the shadow enveloped Zhang Tian in front of him. Zhang Tian raised his head and looked at the handsome man in a suit in front of him, and said slowly, I'm suddenly in a hurry, so I'm going to go home. Go home. The bald man laughed and gently placed his broad palm on Zhang Tian's head. The next moment, the bald man's five fingers began to exert force slightly, as if he were holding a basketball, and he kept talking, your voice is too quiet, I can't hear you. After the bald man finished speaking, he looked at Zhang Tian expectantly, waiting for the scream from the other party. This was his hobby, the crunching sound made when crushing someone else's skull, combined with the other person's scream, was an extremely beautiful and sweet sound. He enjoyed it. Unfortunately, 
for this operation, he was responsible for patrolling the entire site and could not go hunting in the classroom himself. He was still holding fire in his heart. Who would have thought that I would be so lucky to meet a lost student? He couldn't help but tremble all over when he thought about how wonderful the sound would sound later. However, there was indeed a sound, but it was not the cracking of skulls and screams as imagined. On the contrary, the student made a very calm analysis. It seems that there is no big problem with my method of sensing the aura and judging the strength. Zhang Tian looked at the somewhat astonished bald man and spoke slowly. Judging from your aura, you are indeed not that strong. The bald man was stunned. Why was there nothing wrong with the student boy in front of him? His fingers turned white when pressed. At this time, Zhang Tian shook his head, it's quite comfortable. If you go for a massage, you should be able to make a living. Why do you have to be raped? Massage. When the bald man heard the words of the student boy in front of him, blood rushed to his head, feeling extremely humiliated. He wanted to show this ignorant boy in front of him what would happen if he angered Huang Gang, the skull splitter. Huang Gang's expression became ferocious because he was so angry. He withdrew the hand holding Zhang Tian's head, and the skin of his palms turned slightly red. Blood energy surged, strength exploded, and two cattail leaf-like palms slapped Zhang Tian's head. A full blow. He wanted to beat Zhang Tian's head to pieces and wash his face with his blood. Aha! The sword life flashed in front of him, and Zhang Tian's reaction speed was much faster than Huang Gang imagined. The moment he slapped his palms together, Zhang Tian had already taken a step back, raised his hand and waved the kitchen knife in his hand. Clang! The sound of metal clashing sounded, and the kitchen knife in Zhang Tian's hand did not split Huang Gang's forearm, but broke and flew out. There was a look of surprise in Zhang Tian's eyes. This result surprised him. The knife is broken. Is this the warrior of this world? After being slightly surprised, Zhang Tian immediately threw away the broken kitchen knife in his hand and continued to rush towards Huang Gang in front of him. This is a life and death fight, and the opportunity is not as timely as possible. At this moment, Huang Gang felt like a storm was rolling up in his heart. The anger in his heart disappeared when the sound of the knife breaking was heard, as if a basin of cold water was poured down on his head. This student boy used a kitchen knife to split his hand and fracture it. He had no doubt that if the knife hadn't been so bad, his left hand would have been gone. How can it be? This is a student, wearing AF King High School uniform. According to time estimates, the other party did not participate in actual combat preparations and was not awakened at all. Without awakening, there is no way to practice. Judging from the opponent's performance, this is indeed the case. Why? Huang Gang was still thinking wildly, but Zhang Tian had already rushed in front of him. Looking at the childish face in front of him, Huang Gang was in a daze for a while, then he quickly filled up his blood and struck forward with his intact hand. But this fierce palm was completely in vain. Zhang Tian's reaction and speed far exceeded Huang Gang's imagination. Before Huang Gang could react, Zhang Tian's hand was already on his wrist, and the strength of his five fingers suddenly exploded. Click. His wrist was crushed, and severe pain hit him, making Huang Gang open his mouth to scream. Ah! Before Huang Gang could cry out, Zhang Tian's other hand had already grabbed hold of the lower half of his face and covered his mouth and nose. He could only make a whimpering sound. The tall and strong Huang Gang was forced into the dirt beside the wall by Zhang Tian with one hand. He was obviously a thin student boy, but his terrifying power made Huang Gang terrified. Huang Gang wanted to struggle, but Zhang Tian who was holding him down suddenly let go, and then punched twice like lightning, breaking his shoulders. Then he turned over and crushed his knee. Ah ah, just when Huang was about to scream, his mouth and nose were covered again. Zhang Tian looked left and right, and when he saw no one was approaching, he looked at Huang Gang. Shish, Zhang Tian's voice was very soft, as if he was comforting a little baby and his other hand was placed on Huang Gang's neck. Huang Quan Lu Lang, staying with those aunts who died innocently and tragically can be considered as atonement. Click, Huang Gang, the skull-cracking hand, died of anger. Before dying, Huang Gang stared. I will never die with my eyes in peace. He couldn't understand until his death. Did the world change so fast? When did high school students become so strong? Looking at Huang Gang in front of him, Zhang Tian didn't feel any guilt. 
Killing a villain like this who cares so little about human life would not be an exaggeration 10,000 times. The beasts of the Starry Sky sect have been deprived of their human rights. This is the official announcement. It's just a pity that I've lost my tuition. I'm really sorry for my parents. Zhang Tian stood up and prepared to leave, looking for an exit to see how to get home. But after muttering, he suddenly paused and his eyes lit up. He walked back to Huang Gang, squatted down, and started to dig out his pockets. Find Huang Gang's mobile phone, light up the screen, and display the lock. But Zhang Tian didn't panic at all. He turned his phone over and pointed it at Huang Gang's face on the ground. Face recognition unlocked successfully. Technology has changed life. Sure enough, the other party's mobile phone was specially made and the signal was not blocked. Zhang Tian muttered as he opened the transfer interface. My tuition is 3,888 yuan, plus commuting expenses and mental damage fees, it's 8,888 yuan. Very reasonable. Enter the number and click transfer. Insufficient balance. Transfer failed. Zhang Tian started to check the balance. Balance. 6.18. This balance is very dazzling. Zhang Tian kicked Huang Gang's corpse next to him and started to check the transaction details. He wanted to know how this guy looked like a human being and why his balance was so empty. He soon found out the reason. Not long ago, Huang just transferred a sum of activity funds. The target should be their leader. Zhang Tian clenched his phone tightly, his eyes a little anxious. The behavior of this group of starry sky sects is to hide in plain sight and wreak havoc once they take action. After the destruction is done, they will either be killed and caught, or they will leave the human territory, embark on the starry sky road behind the time and space gate, go to the alien race to be raped, and never come back. Right now, these starry sky sect scoundrels are working on big things, and they are afraid they will run away later. Once he runs away, what will happen to his tuition fees? No, Zhang Tian took Huang Gang's mobile phone to report the case to the patrol government, while approaching the abandoned production workshop in the distance, where there was a strong smell of blood. If his guess was correct, that should be where these people from the Starry Sky sect were causing trouble. Maybe the leader of this operation was over there. After the report was completed, Zhang Tian rushed to the production workshop ahead. Arriving at the wall of the workshop, Zhang Tian leaned toward the window and looked inside. He wanted to see what was going on inside so he could make plans. It didn't matter. After seeing clearly what was going on inside, Zhang Tian's heart froze and he couldn't help clenching his fists. The tragic scene shocked his soul. When he came to this world, he kept listening to others saying that the Shinkongman gang were beasts and not human beings. Listen, there is no intuitive feeling. But now, Zhang Tian finally understood why he said this. Taking a deep breath, Zhang Tian held his breath and concentrated, and began to sense the aura of the people inside. He needs to judge the opponent's strength and see if he can deal with these beasts. The abandoned production factory was very empty, and the strong smell of blood came from the center. There were people piled there, lifeless, and obviously dead for a long time. They were all students deceived by the Starry Sky sect to come to the training school, but now they have become ghosts under the sword, piled up there like goods. People who can come to this kind of training school are just ordinary people. Maybe this aunt is someone else's mother, and she just wants to learn some cooking skills so that her family can come back and have a hot bite of delicious food. Maybe even though the child's grades are not good, he still wants to have a skill so that he can find a job so that his parents won't worry anymore. The middle-aged man with graying temples might just want to learn another trade so that he can support his family and make their family live a more comfortable life. It's just that in this world shrouded in disasters of time and space, ordinary people who want to live a good life innocently suffer such a fatal disaster without provoking anyone. The initiators are these cowards who turn to the alien race. Be killed. Zhang Tian stared at the situation inside the factory. There was a figure in the blood-painted formation in the center. There seemed to be some kind of ceremony going on, and when Zhang Tian took a closer look, he was very surprised. The figure actually cut off his arm at this time, but no blood flowed out. The figure with the severed arm seemed to be howling fervently as he placed an unknown object on the broken shoulder. If Zhang Tian saw it correctly, that should be. Pigs trotters. Zhang Tian's mind was full of questions. 
How did he come up with such an explosive operation if a good person doesn't do it? But then, Zhang Tian became even more angry. Killing so many innocent people, all you want is to put a pig's trotter on your body. He defrauded his parents of their hard-earned money, made his tuition fees go down the drain, and wasted his time. Just to be a pig trotter. Zhang Tian looked at the direction of the door, then looked down at the time on his phone. It is estimated that the patrol guards will not be able to come in a short time. This place itself is remote, and it will take time to gather the people and rush here. Zhang Tian saw the situation in the production plant and felt that the people in the formation were about to succeed. He can sense that the opponent's aura is increasing, and fusing the pig's trotters will increase his strength. The plan is about to succeed, and these people from the Starry Sky sect will also evacuate, leaving behind this tragic scene to show off their power. No, Zhang Tian felt that he couldn't wait any longer. If these people from the Starry Sky sect really ran away, what would happen to his tuition? Call, Zhang Tian let out a long breath, and then took a deep breath. As he vomited and inhaled, his breathing rhythm gradually became slower, until for a full minute, he breathed only three to four times, and the pores all over his body were closed. The blood in the body made a trickling sound, flowing rapidly, and the blood vessels on the skin also bulged. He is not a warrior, and he has indeed never practiced before coming to this world. But his talent followed. Not only that, the particularity of this world also brought extremely special changes to Zhang Tian. After remembering the situation inside the production plant, Zhang Tian stood up and walked to the factory's closed door to stand a little further away. Staring forward, Zhang Tian began to gather momentum. Boom! The sound of feet hitting the ground sounded, and Zhang Tian ran out like a cheetah, pointing directly at the factory door in front. At the same time, within the production plant, everyone from the starry sky gate looked at the helmsman in the center of the formation with fiery eyes. Many people even picked up their mobile phones to record and take photos, wanting to commemorate this important moment. The ritual of praying to the gods is going to be successful. Their helmsman will merge with the great red pig clan and become a noble alien. This is a glory that ordinary people cannot understand at all, and it is also the future that their humanity should move towards. Respect foreigners, understand foreigners, integrate into foreigners, and become foreigners. Dong dong dong. A sound like a war drum came, causing many people in the factory to look at each other in astonishment. What sound? It seemed to be coming from the door. Old Huang, open the door and see what's going on. Everyone at the starry sky gate was talking about it, and upon hearing his companion's words, Old Huang, who was guarding the gate, turned around and stretched out his hand, preparing to open the gate to see what was going on. At this moment, Lao Huang heard that the sound was very close, as if he was right next to his ear. Then the door in front of him seemed to be actively approaching me. Behind him, there seemed to be exclamations from his companions. Before he could react, he was pinned down by the approaching door. The heavy factory door rubbed his flesh and blood on the ground, and Lao Huang felt as if he had been run over by a steamroller. The bones all over his body continued to make cracking sounds, and the flesh on his body was rubbed away. The blood in his body didn't even have time to explode, so his eyes went dark and he lost consciousness. Behind them, all the scumbags from the Starry Sky sect were looking ahead with ugly expressions. Lao Huang is dead. The figure who broke open the door rushed over before they could see clearly. Someone is calling, take action. Keep him away from the ceremony. This is just one person, let's kill him together. The last person to shout had just finished speaking when a young face appeared in front of him. Especially the school uniform on the other party made him feel a little confused. High school student, just when he was in a daze, Zhang Tian had already struck out boldly, hitting his heart with a punch. The overbearing power penetrated his body, hitting him so hard that his clothes exploded. His heart burst and blood continued to overflow from his mouth. He immediately lost strength and could not stand firmly. After breaking the heart of the person in front of him, Zhang Tian did not stop, but grabbed the other person's head. As soon as the hands were staggered, they clicked. What a crisp sound. After breaking the bastard's neck, Zhang Tian let go of his hand and let him fall to the ground. Boom. Zhang Tian added a kick and stamped on the opponent's dantian, then kicked his body far away with his hand. 
The Starry Sky sect members in the distance were all stagnant in their attempts to rush forward. Break the heart, break the neck, crush the Dantian, and then kick him away. A set of movements as smooth and smooth, clean and neat. Not only was he merciless, he wanted to beat the person to death three times. Coupled with the terrifying murderous aura permeating the opponent's body at this moment, everyone's whole body trembled involuntarily when they were swept by the opponent's sharp gaze. He is obviously a high school student with a childish appearance and just a little hair on his lips. But why when facing him, everyone felt as if they were facing a god of death who had just come off the battlefield? Why are you panicking? At this time, a strong man in a vest yelled, he is a little brat who hasn't awakened and hasn't entered the university to practice. How many of us can't take him down? Don't be like those two idiots who were beaten to death before their health even exploded. Be more serious. It's just a talent with great potential. How many of our starry sky sect have killed them? Awakening. The other party's words made Zhang Tian feel confused. This concept is unfamiliar to him. He has only been in this world for a short time. He only knows that he can practice and improve his strength here. Regarding how to practice and how to improve, I don't know much about it and I don't know much about it. Before Zhang Tian could think about it, there was a sound of breaking through the air in front of him, and it was the strong man in the vest rushing towards him. As he sprinted, Zhang Tian felt that the opponent's aura was constantly increasing, and his muscles began to swell. When he stood in front of him, the strong man in the vest had grown in size, and a faint luster appeared on his skin, with a metallic texture. Baby, the world of adults is not as simple as you think. Following the joking voice of the strong man in the vest, he punched Zhang Tian fiercely. Zhang Tian reacted quickly and crossed his arms to block the punch. Boom, there was a dull collision sound, and Zhang Tian was sent flying backwards, his feet scraping against the ground. When he steadied himself, there was smoke coming from the soles of his feet, and the soles of his cheap white shoes had cracked. Before Zhang Tian could catch his breath, the strong man in a vest had already rushed over again. Ha! Huh, Zhang Tian's hair stood on end, and he immediately fell back and lowered his waist to dodge. The fragment of the iron door that he had originally smashed happened to pass by the tip of his nose, as if an invisible hand was grasping the broken iron fragment. He dodged the piece of iron, but he couldn't avoid the strong man in a vest who rushed towards him. Boom! This time, Zhang Tian failed to block the opponent's fist and was sent flying directly, hitting a pile of debris on the side. This kid reacts so quickly. In the distance, a Xing Kong sect evildoer twitched the corner of his mouth. He stretched out his palms from the void, and cold sweat dripped from his forehead. There was a vague red light flickering on the fingertips of the five fingers, connecting to the fragments of the iron door smashed by Zhang Tian in the distance, becoming the sharp blade he controlled, suspended in the air. Be careful, this kid is a bit weird. The strong man in the vest clenched his fists and stared warily at the figure rising slowly among the debris. His right fist was shaking slightly, blood seeped out from the fist surface, and there was a dull pain. It's like hell. His punch hit the opponent, but he was injured instead. Hey, what's going on with this student boy? This this. The Xing Kong sect evildoers who slowly gathered around looked at Zhang Tian who stood up, their eyes widened, as if they had seen a ghost. The strong man in the vest felt a cold air rising from the soles of his feet, climbing all the way to the top of his forehead, and his scalp was numb. The student boy standing up in front of him had clearly visible bruises on his face from his punch, and there was even a trace of blood oozing from the crack but they were all awakened warriors with good eyesight. They could clearly see that the wounds on Zhang Tian's face were squirming and healing at a speed visible to the naked eye. As the wound healed, the bruise on the face gradually turned red and finally disappeared. Apart from a little blood on his face, there were no wounds anywhere. This terrifying healing ability is quite strange when placed on a high school student in front of him. Awakening Ability Zhang Tian stood up looked at the suspended iron door fragments, and then looked at the glow of the skin of the strong man in the vest, thoughtfully. Not only the two of them, but also the other starry sky sect miscellaneous people who came close to them, their bodies were more or less changed. Some people have taller bodies, others are surrounded by flames, or exude cold air. It seems that after this world awakens, it will have different abilities, divided into strengthening itself or external expression. Call. Taking another breath, 
Zhang Tian shook his head gently, putting aside the chaotic thoughts. Although the smell of these awful has improved, but... Zhang Tian's eyes hardened, the blood flow in his body accelerated, and the power hidden in his body surged. In this world, according to the information Zhang Tian already knew, after the spiritual energy emerged, warriors appeared to defend their homeland. The foundation of a warrior is the blood and energy that is born in the body after practicing. Blood energy, the energy that exists in a warrior's body, is a weapon against the disasters of the stars. Zhang Tian also has this thing. How can you control your terrifying physical talent without excellent control? Similarly, strong digestion ability and the ability to store energy can allow Zhang Tian's powerful body to survive normally. When he came to this world, why did he visit the breeding farm of his best friend Huang Xing? How did you deal with the bloody cow that went crazy? Zhang Tian ate a whole cow by himself. The pure blood produced after digestion was stored everywhere in Zhang Tian's body. In the bones, in the flesh and blood, his body is tempered all the time. Now, half of the blood energy brought by digesting that cow has been lost, but Zhang Tian's hair moved without any wind, and a faint red light began to flow around his body. A terrifying buzzing sound began to surge within Zhang Tian's body, and the blood stored in his body began to boil. The flesh is the furnace, and the blood is the material. Boom! The blood light wrapped around Zhang Tian was ignited and turned into bright red flames, allowing him to bathe in it. This is a skill that Zhang Tian acquired after coming to this world and improving it based on his physical characteristics and trump cards in his previous life. Flash Oven Turn on the sudden change in Zhang Tian's body caught the starry sky sect villains across from him unexpectedly. What the hell? The strong man in a vest was startled by Zhang Tian's sudden change in front of him. The blood in the other party's body was overflowing, and he felt something was wrong. Especially the concentration of blood gas surprised him. How could a high school student have such strong blood? And the next moment, the other party ignited the blood energy all over his body, bathing in the flames of blood energy, making his heart beat violently. Boom! Just when he was thinking wildly, the student boy in front of him, bathed in bloody flames, had already rushed in front of him. Ah! The strong man in the vest was stunned, and subconsciously raised his hand and punched in front of him. The blood in his body was also surging, and the power of this punch had been exerted to its extreme without any mercy. The student boy in front of him was so weird that he almost didn't look like a normal high school student. Zhang Tian didn't dodge or dodge, he also punched and hit hard. Boom! A violent collision sounded, an invisible energy spread between the two fist peaks. Click! The sound of bone cracking was heard, and under the collision, the arm muscles of the strong man in the vest began to ripple, like ripples on the water. The entire arm was gradually twisted, and a severe pain hit, the strong man in the vest screamed. No, old Lu. Next to him, the face of another Shinkong sect evildoer changed drastically, too fast. After just one punch, old Lu, the physically strongest person on their side, was defeated miserably and was immediately crippled. Damn it, he cursed angrily, and quickly burst out with blood, controlling the broken iron door and rushing towards Zhang Tian's back. The iron gate fragments accelerated under his control, like iron blades flying through the air at extremely high speeds. Ordinarily, if they encountered each other, they would probably be cut off in half. But now, the broken iron gate's sharp blade had already slashed towards Zhang Tian. A moment of life and death. Zhang Tian had already reacted in advance before the sharp blade of the iron gate that was flying towards him had a chance to strike. Zhang Tian suddenly turned around and grabbed the sharp iron door blade that was slashing at him. Clang! A crisp sound of collision emerged. After Zhang Tian grabbed the sharp blade of the iron door with his hand, he made a slight rubbing sound from the soles of his feet. The huge impact force on the iron door was released under Zhang Tian's control. Not only that, the bloody flames burning on his body also climbed on the iron door, burning the red light emerging from it. Not far away, the Shinkong sect evildoer who controlled the iron gate clearly felt that his perception of the iron gate fragments had disappeared. Burned, almost at that moment, he realized what Zhang Tian had done. Zhang Tian, who grabbed the iron gate fragments, seemed to have obtained a magic weapon and started spinning in circles, like a big windmill. The bright red flame followed his hands and poured into the entire iron door fragments. 
the fragments of the iron door began to emit high temperatures, gradually turning red and becoming extremely sharp. The strong man in a vest just in front of Zhang Tian was cut off from the waist, his eyes widened in disbelief. Cutting off the strong man's waistcoat, Zhang Tian moved towards the other Xinkong sect evildoers without slowing down at all. The surrounding Xinkong sect evildoers were all frightened to death and were about to flee in all directions. But Zhang Tian was faster, and the circle of evildoers who were close to him were all killed one after another. Then he relaxed his hand slightly, and the sharp iron door blade in his hand was like a large rotating flying blade, cutting out. It wasn't until the Xinkong sect evildoer who was controlling the attack of the iron gate fragments at the far end was cut off that the bright red flames on the fragments disappeared and cut into the factory wall to stop. The Xinkong sect evildoer lying on the ground stared and opened his mouth to say something, but blood kept pouring out. I thought it was a killing move to kill Zhang Tian, but in the end, he took the initiative to send the weapon. When he was dying, he saw the high school student in school uniform walking toward the helmsman step by step, looking a little dazed. Is the world changing so fast? When did high school students become so brave? He wanted to greet the members in charge of admissions more, are you smart? How do you do intelligence work? You agreed to specifically target ordinary citizens who have no ability to resist, but you brought in such a perverted and invincible genius to destroy your own people. You asterisk and percent asterisk and. After the Xinkong sect evildoer finished cursing the most vicious words in his life, he died completely. After killing these bastards, Zhang Tian did not relax, but became tense all over. He felt as if he was being targeted by a wild beast, and there was a sound of wind coming from behind. Zhang Tian hurriedly turned around and whipped his leg in front of him. Boom, a dull crash sounded, and the domineering energy spread to the surroundings, shattering the glass of the windows around the factory and splashing outwards. At this time, Zhang Tianxi clearly saw that the person he was fighting with was the guy who was placing pig's trotters on his body when he quietly observed just now. What blocked his leg was the opponent's successfully installed pig's trotters, which made Zhang Tian feel extremely weird. And after observing it up close, he could clearly see that this pig's trotters were particularly special. The outer skin is crystal clear, like crystal, and you can even see the meridians inside. The overall shape is two or three times thicker than a normal human arm, and the end is not a hoof as in the impression, but has three fingers. At the fingertips, there are hoof tips, which look very hard. Zhang Tian was still observing carefully, but the helmsman did not stop and suddenly stretched out his other hand. A strong sense of crisis came from the bottom of Zhang Tian's heart, and he hurriedly retreated towards the rear. Aha! But his speed still slowed down, and the bloody light seemed to be like a weapon, cutting across his chest, cutting his school uniform open, and scratching his chest. Blood gushed out instantly, soaking his white and blue school uniform and turning it red. Boy, you are very capable at a young age. I didn't expect that an ordinary ceremony to invite gods could actually attract an invincible genius like you. It's really scary. You have such strength and ability without even awakening. What if you really grow up? Killing you while you are still weak is a great achievement, ha ha ha. God help me, I didn't expect that I, Feng Xingyu, would still be here today. The helmsman of the Starry Sky sect continued to pursue Zhang Tian, with a look of excitement on his face. The pig hand that had become one with him punched out and aimed at Zhang Tian. Although there was still a long distance between them, a bloody fist mark still came and hit Zhang Tian. Boom! A powerful and heavy punch sent Zhang Tian flying out again and hit the pillar in the factory building. There was a crunching sound, and the pillars were slightly bent. Zhang Tian covered his chest with one hand and dodged again, is this the opponent's ability? It seems to be able to extend the distance of his attack. I haven't exercised since I came to this world, and I don't have enough blood stored in my body. I seem to be in some trouble. Zhang Tian, who dodged the opponent's attack, was thinking in his mind, and at the same time took out a few cookies from his pocket and threw them into his mouth. A little snack is just a drop in the bucket, but it's better than nothing. The flesh oven was still on. Zhang Tian's chest was sizzling as he was bathed in the blood fire, and the open skin and flesh were gradually closing and healing. When the oven is turned on, not only will the strength increase dramatically, but the recovery speed will also increase a lot. But the speed of consuming blood energy has also increased. He couldn't hold on for long. 
The plan before Zhang Tian now was to escape and see if he could break through the formation barrier that blocked the entire factory area. Isn't it impressive to kill my disciple just now? Why do you just hide now? I have merged with the Great Red Pig clan and become a part of him. I am not comparable to you, a mere student. Die, die at the hands of the Great Red Pig God, that will be your glory, ha ha ha. Feng Xingyu, the helmsman of the Starry Sky Sect, looked crazy. His originally crystal clear pig hands turned red, and he smashed towards Zhang Tian with extremely domineering power. Very strong. Through the perception of breath, Zhang Tian could detect that the pig hand on the opponent's body was continuously transmitting power to the opponent. It was precisely because of this that when he first observed outside the factory, he didn't feel that the person in front of him was very powerful. Right now, it was giving him a headache. He doesn't have enough blood and energy, and the physical furnace cannot burn at full power, otherwise. Wait a moment. Zhang Tian suddenly had a flash of inspiration and directly restrained the blood flames burning all over his body and gathered them on his hands. Faced with this punch, he did not dodge or avoid it. Poof. At this moment, Feng Xingyu was a little surprised, watching helplessly as Zhang Tian showed no resistance and allowed himself to be hit with a punch. It was only at the last moment that the opponent dodged within a very small area and avoided the vital point. Zhang Tian was shot through the shoulder. Feng Xingyu had a strange look on his face and looked at Zhang Tian in disbelief, what is he going to do? Too easy, too simple. The strange high school student in front of him was far more powerful than he imagined. In their eyes, they can be called the invincible genius. How could they win it so easily? Just based on the potential of the person in front of him, once the kill is reported, Feng Xingyu believes that this incredible contribution will be personally received by the sect leader. Even, being able to come into contact with the true deity of the Red Pig clan that the Red Pig Hall believes in, would be such an honor and a great honor. Thinking about it, he felt that it was too beautiful to be true, and he was drooling. Despair. When the movement came, Feng Xingyu looked up at the high school student in front of him and found that the other person suddenly raised his hands and grabbed his god's arm. The blazing blood flames climbed up instantly, burning his entire god's arm. Burning pain hit, and even the smell of barbecue came out. Feng Xingyu was shocked and angry, and hurriedly tried to pull out his arm, but found that he couldn't do it. The high school student in front of him actually used the muscles and bones near the wound to jam his god's arm and roasted it at all costs. What are you going to do? Feng Xingyu roared at Zhang Tian, even if you want to die together, it's just wishful thinking. I, before Feng Xingyu finished speaking, he was interrupted by Zhang Tian in front of him. You misunderstood. I didn't want to die together. I was just hungry. Zhang Tian grinned at Feng Xingyu, it's time to eat roasted pig's trotters. As soon as he finished speaking, Zhang Tian lowered his head, opened his mouth and started to nibble. Since the blood energy is not enough, then replenish the energy with food. Aren't the pig's trotters on the guy in front of me just good food for free? Ha! Huh. After one gulp, Zhang Tian was stunned and his mind went blank. He originally planned to swallow the half-cooked pig's trotters while suppressing his nausea and nausea. In such a short period of time, the flames of his blood would definitely not be cooked. What's more, the other party also used the lives of innocent people to perform cruel rituals to install the pig's trotters on their bodies. But Zhang Tian never expected that after one bite, it would be so delicious. According to his understanding, pork has a fishy smell and must be handled well before it can be eaten. How did it feel when you took a sip just now? It's fat but not greasy. It's a little hot in the mouth because the flames of his own blood have roasted it. But after chewing it carefully, the hot oil burst in the entire mouth, and what emerged was a unique fragrance. The aroma of meat that followed was gradually released from this fragrance. What are you doing? Is the pig's trotters from an alien race so fragrant? Feng Xingyu's scalp was numb, and he felt that the student boy in front of him was becoming more and more perverted. If you eat the meat of aliens directly, you will be poisoned. The purpose of the ritual of praying to the gods is to protect oneself and fuse with the arms of the Red Pig clan so that they will not be infected. What the hell is this high school student in front of me eating directly? Gulu. The sound of swallowing rang in his ears. Feng Xingyu looked at Zhang Tian who raised his head in front of him, his whole body stiffening slightly. 
The eyes of the boy in front of him were shining, and he felt like he wanted to eat him alive. Let me go, let go quickly. Feng Xingyu began to use his strength to break free, and hit Zhang Tian with his other hand. Boom! The blazing bloody flames with high temperature surged out of Zhang Tian's body again. The rich bloody flames burned Feng Xingyu, making it impossible for him to get rid of Zhang Tian's attack. Moreover, the smell of meat he smelled was getting stronger and stronger. Zhang Tian's wound in front of him was healing rapidly, his face became more rosy and energetic, and the strength to hold his god's arm gradually increased. Can it be said that high-end ingredients only need the simplest cooking method to bring out the most original flavor? Feng Xingyu was no longer in Zhang Tian's eyes. All he could think about now was the big pig's hoof from a foreign race in front of him. Just one mouthful, and the blood energy Zhang Tian got after digesting it was already comparable to half the blood cow he had eaten. Ouch! Zhang Tian lowered his head again and took a fierce bite. After the temperature was raised, the red pig's trotters roasted by the blood flames obviously tasted better. If we say that the fresh aroma was the main one and the meat aroma was the supplement. Well, now the smell of meat exploding in Zhang Tian's mouth has taken over the main position, leaving a lingering fragrance on his lips and teeth. After Zhang Tian swallowed this mouthful of meat, his aura began to expand and rise, and the bloody flames burning all over his body became even more intense. He grabbed the red pig's trotter with both hands, raised his other foot, stepped on Feng Xingyu's chest and began to exert force gradually. What are you going to do? No, no, you can't do this. Feng Xingyu shouted towards Zhang Tian in panic, trying to stay away from the monster in front of him. But no matter what he did, he couldn't break free and could only feel the increasing pain in his shoulder. Tisk, the arm of the Red Pig Clan, the arm of God in his eyes, was forcefully pulled away with the sound of tearing. And his body flew backwards and fell heavily to the ground. Without this arm, there was still no blood flowing out from the broken part of Feng Xingyu's shoulder, only a strange flash of blood. He looked up at the front. The flames bathing Zhang Tian's body became more and more violent, and a large part of them gathered on his hands. The god's arm came from a part of the Red Pig clan. It had been roasted to a golden and crispy appearance, and the oil dripped from Zhang Tian's fingers. The smell made even Feng Xingyu start to drool, and his belief in the Red Pig clan was shaken for a moment. Click! The crisp sound of Zhang Tian biting into the pig's trotters woke Feng Xingyu up. No, that is the Lord's noble body, how can you eat it? You are just a despicable human being, a dirty little brat. How dare you blaspheme the great red pig clan like this? Before Feng Xingyu could finish his hysterical roar and angry questioning, he was interrupted again by Zhang Tian. Red pig, is this their breed? Zhang Tian looked at Feng Xingyu with his mouth full of oil. And I didn't blaspheme them. You can see how delicious my food is. Feng Xingyu stared and opened his mouth, trembling all over, is, is it delicious? Zhang Tian nodded seriously. Crispy on the outside and tender on the inside, fat but not greasy, it melts in your mouth. The texture is very rich. The only pity is that there is no seasoning, otherwise the flavor would be even better. While talking, Zhang Tian had already chewed up the pig's trotters in his hand and threw them aside. Then, Zhang Tian looked down at the oil on his hands, thought for a while, and squatted down in front of Feng Xingyu. Watching Zhang Tian gradually stretch his hand towards him, Feng Xingyu breathed rapidly and his whole body was shaking like a sieve. What a beast! He took away his god's arm and gnawed the aroma of the red pig clan's body like a pig's trotters. Now, dot you still want to apply oil on yourself? Are you human? After wiping his hands, Zhang Tian stared at Feng Xingyu in front of him for a long time, and slowly extinguished the red flames on his body. The other party's aura is weak, it is gradually declining, and its vitality is passing away. It seemed that he had taken away the other person's arm, causing his body to be severely injured and unable to survive. He is going to die and there is no need to do anything anymore. After stopping the burning of the oven, Zhang Tian burped towards Feng Xingyu. Hearing this voice, Feng Xingyu, who fell to the ground, turned red with anger, and blood continued to flow from his mouth, but there was nothing he could do. At this moment, he suddenly saw Zhang Tian in front of him stretch out his hand and reach into his pocket, as if he was looking for something. After that, he saw the other party take out his mobile phone and point it at his face. Drop. 
Face unlock. What are you doing? Feng Xingyu originally thought that Zhang Tian would take this opportunity to kill him immediately. But I never expected that I would suddenly take out my mobile phone. Afterwards, Feng Xingyu figured out something and sneered, You want to get the organization's secrets from my mobile phone? It's impossible. When the operation begins, the information will be completely cleared to avoid leakage after failure. Besides, I'm about to die. It's absolutely impossible for you to pry the secret out of my mouth. You. Here, Feng Xingyu was still chattering, but he saw that Zhang Tian didn't have a disappointed expression on his face, but instead grabbed his hand. Drop. Another sound came. Zhang Tian stared at the phone screen and frowned, and finally said, Why do you have to unlock it? It's so troublesome. After finishing speaking, Zhang Tian turned his phone to Feng Xingyu again. Aha! At this time, Feng Xingyu finally saw clearly what was on the phone screen. Nian, face payment successful. He was a little confused. Zhang Tian had been messing with his mobile phone for a long time just now, just to transfer money. What are you doing? Feng Xingyu couldn't help but ask. The actions of the person in front of him were so confusing that he couldn't understand them at all. Zhang Tian looked at Feng Xingyu. What else can you do? Yu Xingkong sect and other evil people defrauded me of my tuition fees. I should get my own things back, shouldn't I? As he spoke, he pointed at the torn bloody school uniform on his body, you ruined my clothes and wasted my time. Don't you deserve compensation? Besides, regarding your plans and organizational information, that is something that the patrolman should worry about. What does it have to do with me, a student? Feng Xingyu's eyes widened and he looked at Zhang Tian in front of him in disbelief. Want, tuition fees. After foiling their plan and killing all of your own gang, is this what you were thinking about? Student, do you still know that you are a student? After Zhang Tian took care of all this, he stood up and, under Feng Xingyu's gaze, began to pick out the pockets of the Xingkong sect evildoers one by one. After finishing the payment, face unlock is used to make a transfer. Looking at Zhang Tian's behavior, Feng Xingyu felt like he couldn't hold his breath, and his eyes began to turn black. Emotionally, he couldn't accept it. He was already on the verge of death, and now he was even more pissed off by Zhang Tian. Here, after Feng Xingyu died, Zhang Tian had almost finished his own affairs. Not only did he get his tuition back, but he also received a total of 793,145 yuan, 80.6 cents in compensation for a series of problems including damage to his clothes, mental loss, etc. Ha! Huh, Zhang Tian was stunned when he saw the time on his phone, and then rushed out of the factory. Originally, he planned to wait until the patrol came over. After all, there was a bonus for killing the Starry Sky sect evildoers. As a result, I looked at the time and found that it was getting late. My parents would be worried if it was too late to get home. The way he looks now will definitely scare his parents. It's better to go home quickly. The patrol uncles will take care of the aftermath, so he doesn't need to worry about it. That's right. Zhang Tian returned, picked up Feng Xingyu's cell phone, opened the memo, and left a message. After leaving the message, Zhang Tian threw away the bloody clothes on his body, took off the other party's clothes and put them on, then returned to the classroom, packed his backpack and started to rush home. With a huge sum of money in his pocket, Zhang Tian directly took a taxi and drove around to where he lived. After getting off the bus, what comes into view are rows of high-rise buildings, each of which is 50 stories high. There are 60 households on each floor, and the area is not large, so it seems very crowded. After all, since the time and space disaster, many cities have fallen, and the land is much scarcer than before. Ordinary people like them can only live in such civilian areas. Zhang Tian lives in number 44 on the 44th floor of Unit 44, Building 444, Sunshine Community. It can be said to be the cheapest apartment. As soon as he arrived at the door of his house, Zhang Tian was about to open the door and go in, when he heard his parents' voices coming from inside. My son hasn't come back yet, why bother? Isn't it because the food cooked by my wife is too fragrant and I can't help it? When you have time to talk, why not think about what to do next? Hey, it's hard to find a job now. It's really hard to find a job as a porter. No, you don't know how many pounds you have. It's easy to get sick if you come into close contact with foreign things. 
Let's give it a try. Our children finally have their own dreams and the path they want to take. If our parents don't support us, who will? But, crunch, the sound of the door interrupted the discussion between Zhang Yuan and Lu Fang. My son is back, Lu Fang had a smile on her face, put down the bowls and chopsticks in her hands, and wiped her hands on her apron, how was your study today? Not good, I was cheated. Zhang Tian put down his school bag, shook his head, and looked at Zhang Yuan. In his previous life, his father lost his job and had to work for himself, which caused him to suffer from lung disease. No matter how hard he tried to make money, it was to no avail. God gave him another chance. How could Zhang Tian let this happen again? I don't care whether my parents are worried or not, life is more important. Being cheated, Lu Feng was stunned for a moment and looked at Zhang Yuan. Zhang Yuan pondered for a moment and waved towards Zhang Tian, it doesn't matter if you are cheated, just treat it as a lesson learned. You are still a student, and it is normal for you to be inexperienced. That's right, these liars who deserve to be killed actually dare to lie to my son. Lu Fang also nodded in agreement, came to Zhang Tian and touched his head. Hearing his parents' comforting words, Zhang Tian's heart felt warm and his nose felt sour. Because of this, he couldn't let his parents make the same mistake again. It doesn't matter, I want my tuition back. Zhang Tian took a deep breath and looked at his parents solemnly. Zhang Yuan and Lu Fang were stunned. Are you coming back? Are liars so easy to talk to? Ha ha, I didn't expect our son to have this ability. At the dining table, Zhang Yuan twisted the cap of the wine bottle and poured the wine while preparing to listen to his son's explanation of the process. Maybe there will be a wonderful battle of wits and courage. Today's children are really amazing, each generation is getting better and better. Zhang Tian looked serious. I beat them to death and then used their mobile phones to transfer money back. Zhang Yuan's hands trembled and wine spilled all over the table. The narrow living room fell into an eerie quiet atmosphere. The training school is a fake school run by the Xinkong sect evildoers. It not only defrauded me of my tuition fees, but also cost me my life. They are seeking wealth and murder. According to our laws, there are rewards for killing the Xinkong sect evildoers. Dad, there is no need to rush to find a job. There is no need to worry about the family's finances for the time being. After Zhang Tian finished speaking, Lu Feng rushed over and pulled him over. Is there any injury? Let mom take a closer look. Lu Feng was so frightened that she looked at her son carefully and was relieved when she found that there was no injury. It was also at this time that she discovered that her son's school uniform was missing and he was wearing a shirt that obviously did not match his figure. Zhang Yuan also hurriedly put the wine on the table and walked to Zhang Tian to confirm the situation. Ha, huh, how did you get into trouble with the Xinkong sect's evildoers? Zhang Yuan let out a long breath and said with a solemn expression, those guys are inhumane. Did you just say you beat them to death? Don't talk nonsense. You have just grown up and haven't awakened yet. How could you possibly defeat the evildoers of the Death Star Sky sect? Zhang Tian stretched out his hand towards Zhang Yuan. Dad, let's just give it a try. Try. Zhang Yuan was stunned for a moment, then laughed. Although Dad is not a warrior, at least he has read and awakened. Although the awakened ability can't even generate a profession, it can increase the strength by 3%. After all these years, I still have some strength. While talking, Zhang Yuan also held his son's hand. In fact, even though he said that, he believed it 70% to 80% in his heart. After all, it would be too clumsy to lie, and it would be too easy to confirm the truth. After the father and son held their hands, Zhang Yuan tentatively began to exert force. As his strength continued to increase, he found that his son was still indifferent. Until he tried his best to suppress his blush, his son acted like nothing happened. This time it was Zhang Yuan's turn to be surprised. He looked at Zhang Tian with surprise and joy. His son's talent is so terrifying. If you look at it this way, what your son said may be true. It seems that my son has met the peripheral members of the Starry Sky sect, just some small miscellaneous fish. I didn't expect that my son might have the qualifications of a martial emperor. Thinking of this, Zhang Yuan couldn't help laughing loudly, Honey, our son is amazing. That is, it doesn't matter whose son it is. Lu Feng also became happy. However, Lu Feng thought again and looked at Zhang Tian worriedly. 
Son, do you feel uncomfortable in any way? Please stay away from such dangerous things in the future. You are still a student, this kind of thing is not your turn yet. Zhang Tian smiled and comforted Lu Fang. Mom, don't worry, I'm fine. I'm fine. Go and wash up quickly so that you can have dinner and have a good sleep later. Lu Fang patted her son on the back and continued to work in the kitchen. Zhang Tian responded. After taking a shower and changing clothes, he sat at the dining table. I made your favorite pig's trotters today, eat more. Lu Fang greeted her son while looking at the messages on her phone with great joy. After changing clothes, Zhang Tian already took his mobile phone and called part of the money to Lu Fang. However, while Lu Fang was happy, she still told Zhang Tian not to take any more risks in the future. As a mother, this is always the case. Zhang Yuan rarely relaxed a lot at the small dining table. The family was now much richer, and he no longer had to risk his life as a porter. What's wrong, son? Isn't it delicious? Lu Fang looked at Zhang Tian chewing slowly and asked with concern. She was worried that something like this might happen to her son, and she had a grudge in her heart. In fact, Lu Fang had been worried, but she was just afraid that speaking out would make her son uncomfortable, so she kept holding on. It's okay, it's just that. I ate something on the way and was full. Zhang Tian shook his head slightly, looking at the pig's trotters in the bowl with his thoughts racing. In my mind, I was still thinking about the red pig's trotters. Although the food cooked by my mother is very good and irreplaceable, it is also pig's trotters, and the huge gap in ingredients cannot be made up by cooking skills. Dad, Mom, at this time, Zhang Tian put down his chopsticks and looked at Zhang Yuan and Lu Feng seriously, I want to transfer to the elite class. Zhang Tian's words made Lu Feng and Zhang Yuan look at each other. Zhang Yuan put down the wine glass. He was already drunk and his face was slightly red, why do you suddenly have this idea? Don't you want to be a chef? Son, although your talent would be wasted if you were not a warrior, dad still hopes that you can follow your heart and do what you like. Although Zhang Yuan is just an ordinary citizen, not a warrior. But after all, he has read books and seen what the geniuses of his time were like. Now, the genius he was when he was studying has become the mainstay of the human race today. But Zhang Yuan believed that his son's talent was definitely more terrifying than theirs. In the future, he will definitely be one of the strongest people in the human race and his contribution will be huge. But Zhang Yuan is not that great, he is just an ordinary common man and an ordinary father. He just hopes that his son can be happy and do what he likes. The purpose of transferring to the elite class is to become a better chef. When Zhang Tian said this, his eyes gradually began to shine, it's hard for a good woman to make a meal without rice. If you want to be a top chef, you also need top materials. Foreign races are better ingredients. I want to transfer to the elite class, enter the warrior university, and get the qualification to enter and exit the time and space gate at any time. Cut the best ingredients, make the most perfect food, and become the best chef in the world. Zhang Tian became more and more excited as he talked, and began to reminisce about the red pig trotters he had eaten earlier. Just thinking about it makes me salivate and I can't help but swallow. Zhang Yuan and Lu Feng listened to their son's speech and always felt that something was wrong, but they couldn't tell them. So, should I be a chef or a warrior? Here Zhang Tian is still imagining his glorious future as a chef, vividly describing his ideas to his parents. At the same time, the site of the abandoned factory building has been completely blocked by the government patrol. They even used formation shielding to prevent unnecessary messages from being transmitted. The entire top management of U City was alarmed and were holding meetings and discussions overnight. At the gate of the factory at the scene, Huang Wei, the head of the U City Patrol Palace, was watching his men clean up the scene with his hands on his hips. Damn, these beasts are really not human beings. Huang Wei cursed while holding a cigar in his mouth and took a big puff. Snapped. A slap suddenly hit the back of Huang Hui's head, and curses came out. You brat, can you smoke less? Who are you choking like a chimney? As the leader responsible for the security of the entire Yu city, Huang Wei was slapped and instead of getting angry, he flattered and apologized to the handsome old man next to him. Huang Wei quickly put out the fire and put the remaining cigar in his pocket. Teacher, don't be angry. Isn't this because you are anxious to get angry? You're anxious, I'm still anxious. 
The handsome old man stroked his beard. These bastards made trouble while I was visiting relatives, didn't they slap me in the face? It's not the teacher's fault. No matter how powerful you are, you couldn't have known in advance that these bastards were causing trouble here. After Huang Wei finished speaking, he turned to look at the factory inside. Having said that, who wants to see all this? The innocent people died tragically, not at the hands of the enemy, but because of one of their own. Master, the investigation results are out, we know who took action. At this time, a patrolman hurried over. So fast, Huang Wei was a little surprised, who did it? The patrolman had a strange expression and said slowly, the person who took action is called Zhang Tian. Zhang Tian, I don't know you, what's your identity? Huang Wei asked, subconsciously taking out the cigar from his pocket. He, is a high school student. Snap, the cigar slipped from Huang Hui's hand and fell to the ground. Huang Wei ignored the cigar that fell on the ground and grabbed the skirt of the patrolman in front of him, you little bastard, are you kidding me? Boss, Principal Joe is here, do I dare to tease you with my nonsense? The patrolman quickly picked up the bag in his hand, look, this is the evidence. Huang Wei let go of the patrolman and took the evidence bag with a frown. Inside was the school uniform soaked in blood. On the school uniform, the school emblem of U City number. 14 Middle School is embroidered. From the side, questions rang out. The school uniform can't prove anything. Maybe he is a victim. Is there any evidence? The patrolman turned his gaze and looked at the person who made the noise. The other party was wearing a white long gown and had silver white whiskers. They were not messy and were neatly styled. She has long silver white hair that reaches her shoulders, flowing smoothly behind her back, and is simply tied up by a piece of black gold patterned satin. Looking at this person, the patrolman immediately became nervous and bowed slightly in respect. The other party was the former legendary martial emperor and the current president of Hungwu University in Star City. Zhou Shang, Principal Zhou, Please take a look, this is the mobile phone of the leader of the Starry Sky Gate in Yu City who is the culprit of this Starry Sky Gate rebellion. When we unlock it, this memo will be displayed. The patrolman showed the interface of his mobile phone, and Zhou Sheng and Huang Wei came over to read the messages on the memo. Hello, patrol uncles, I am the reporter. Please open the photo album. Afterwards, the patrolman switched interfaces, opened the photo album on his mobile phone, and clicked on the latest video recording. The video recording was turned on, and a young face filling the entire screen appeared in front of them. Hello, my name is Zhang Tian, a student of number 14 middle school and the previous reporter. Because I love cooking and want to be a chef, I signed up for the Starry Sky Sect's fake training school. Unfortunately, by the time I found out things had changed, everyone had been killed. Because my life is threatened, I am not allowed to take action and beat the Shinkong sect evildoers to death. And through the evildoer's mobile phone, he recovered a total of 793,145 yuan, 80.6 cents, including tuition fees, mental damage fees, property damage fees, etc. And my number is 186 yen per cent. If you need help, you can call my number or send a message. My bank card number is 671%. And, for the bounty for killing the Shinkongman evildoers, please enter here. Thanks for your hard work. The video ends. For a moment, the three of them fell into silence. Zhou Sheng stretched out his hand to cover his mouth. Even a well-informed top being like him was trembling slightly. He stared sharply at the patrol in front of him. Has anyone else seen this video? Principal Joe, no, the patrolman shook his head, I noticed this situation and felt something was wrong, so I came over immediately to report it without letting anyone else know. Very good, just pretend you haven't seen this evidence. The ring on Zhou Shang's hand flashed, and the bloody clothes and mobile phone disappeared. Huang Wei took out another cigar from his pocket. His hands were shaking and he couldn't light it for a long time. After finally lighting up the cigar, Huang Wei took a deep breath and finally regained his composure. Xiao Jia, you know the rules, confidentiality agreement and blood contract. From now on, you can't leave my side. I will explain to your father that from now on, your training mission is over and your rating will be at full level. The patrolman named Xiao Jia nodded, I understand. Zhou Sheng took a deep breath, let's go in and take a look. Originally, 
Neither Zhou Shang nor Huang Wei went to the scene to watch. For people at their level, there was no need for them to observe a battle scene of this level. They would come here purely out of respect for the deceased. But now the situation is special, the initiator is actually a high school student. Moreover, according to the current time point, the awakening assessment has not yet started, which means that this student has not even awakened. How is it done? Before entering, Zhou Shang spotted footprints in the distance of the abandoned workshop. Following the footprints with his eyes, he roughly analyzed the situation at that time. As I walked into the workshop and looked at the traces and bloodstains of the battle, the rehearsal of the scene at that time kept popping up in my mind. This little pervert is very capable in actual combat. Huang Wei walked into the workshop and looked at the corpse of the Shinkong sect evildoer who was being recorded but not cleaned up on the ground. He twitched his lips and said, be ruthless. After Zhou Sheng looked around, he walked to Feng Xingyu's body. The other party's eyes were open, with an angry look on his stiff face. I will never die with my eyes in peace. Outraged. He was injured, but why did he act like he was fine when recording the video? Zhou Sheng was puzzled. At this moment, his shifting gaze suddenly froze, resting on the hands of a patrolman who was collecting evidence. In the opponent's evidence bag, there was a skeletal arm, the flesh on which had been chewed clean. Why do you say chewing? Because Zhou Sheng saw teeth marks on the bones. The red pig's arm is probably the object of Feng Xingyu's God-seeking ceremony. As a result, the red pig arm that was transplanted on his body was not only pulled off, but also eaten. Zhou Sheng walked up to the guard, took away the evidence bag and put it into the space ring. The patrolman was a little shocked when the evidence was taken away, but when he saw Huang Wei shaking his head beside him, he swallowed the questions on his lips. Money, Zhou Sheng suddenly said. Huang Wei was stunned for a moment and looked at the teacher. What? This is a special matter. You are responsible for transferring the bounty for killing the Shinkongmen evildoers to the card number. Zhou Sheng looked at Huang Wei and said, Don't do it to the public, use private funds. Huang Wei nodded. To him, it was just a small amount of money. If you go to the battlefield and kill foreigners, not to mention the military achievements, the loot alone will be more than this amount of money. I'll do it now. Huang Wei nodded. Check where this Zhang Tian kid lives, and be careful so you don't get discovered. Zhou Sheng warned. Huang Wei nodded. Just as he was about to take out his mobile phone and log into the patrol system, he suddenly stopped. He seemed to have thought of something and started to make a call. After the call was connected, Huang Wei changed his tone and said cheerfully, Good nephew, didn't you call me this morning and ask me if I could help your good friend change classes? Yes, what is your good friend's name? Your name is Zhang Tian, right? No problem, uncle, can you help me with this little thing? By the way, where does your friend live? My silly nephew, of course this kind of thing cannot be done through the system. It must be done quietly. After talking for a long time, Huang Wei hung up the phone and told Zhou Shang his address. Is there such a coincidence? Of course Zhou Shang heard the conversation and found it strange. Huang Wei shrugged. I said that this name seems familiar. He is a good brother of my eldest nephew. This world is really small. Without further delay, I have to find this child quickly. Zhou Shang turned around and disappeared into the darkness, as if he disappeared in an instant. Huang Wei looked at the direction where the teacher disappeared, feeling a little surging in his heart for some reason. It's too scary, this child named Zhang Tian. In the morning, my eldest nephew Huang Xing called and said that his best friend was gifted and could kill a bloody cow with one punch. He thought the other party was bragging and didn't take it seriously. Now it seems that there is nothing to brag about. It's so pitiful, the geniuses of the same generation as this child. Huang Wei puffed out smoke. He could foresee that this Zhang Tian would be a huge shadow over the young people of this era. No one can break it. After a heart-to-heart -heart talk with his parents, Zhang Tian returned to his room. Ding dong. When the text message alert sounded, Zhang Tian took out his mobile phone and looked up, stunned for a moment. Dear users, hello. Familiar bank text message, there is an extra balance of 3 million. If you look carefully at the balance, you can see that the note is bounty, and there is no more redundant information. The reward for killing the Shinkongmen evildoers has arrived so soon. Zhang Tian was a little surprised when he saw the text message. 
It was just dark outside, so it only took two hours. Is it so efficient? There should be no award ceremony or door-to-door -door awards. The result was so casual, the money was transferred directly. Although he was puzzled, Zhang Tian didn't think too much, as long as he had the money. It's still early, let's study. Zhang Tian patted his face, took out his book and started studying seriously. At the same time, in the darkness downstairs, Zhou Sheng had quietly arrived. There was a faint glow of blood under his feet, and blood was surging in his body. Void paced, just walking upward through the air. Without spending much effort, he stood at Zhang Tian's window and looked inside. I saw Zhang Tianzheng in the room reading a book and waving a knife with his hand. You have such a terrifying talent, but you still work so hard, stay up late at night to read, and practice sword skills, it's really. Zhou Sheng's thoughts suddenly stopped because he realized something was wrong. The book Zhang Tian read seemed not to be the swordsmanship textbook he imagined, but how a chef develops good knife skills. If you look carefully, Zhang Tian's movements are not knife skills. What else could they be if they weren't chopping vegetables? He did it for a long time because he was being sentimental. This kid was obviously learning to cook. Aha, Zhou Sheng was suddenly startled, realizing that he was being targeted by a murderer. When he looked up, he found that Zhang Tian in the room had stopped moving and was staring at him. I was discovered. What a keen perception. Although Zhou Sheng did not hide himself deliberately, it was still difficult for an ordinary student to detect it. As expected, he is a perverted genius who can kill the evil disciples of the Starry Sky sect who have just entered the second level before awakening, which is extraordinary. Don't be nervous, I am the president of Hungwu University in Star City, Zhou Shang. His lips moved slightly. Although no sound was made, the words were clearly conveyed to Zhang Tian's ears. You should have received the bounty, right? It was me who asked the students to give special approval and do special things. It's a little skill to be fascinated by sound transmission. In order to avoid unnecessary misunderstandings, Zhou Sheng also reported his family directly to gain Zhang Tian's trust. Zhou Sheng said so, Zhang Tian did not relax his vigilance and stared at the figure outside the window. On such a high floor, the opponent can stand suspended in the air with a terrifying aura. He is definitely a top expert. Now that I am still weak, the other party can easily slap me to death, and there is no need to trick myself. However, Zhang Tian still took out his mobile phone and searched for the other party's name. The information emerged and after comparison, it was indeed the same person. It's not good to let an old man blow the wind at night. Can you invite me to come in and sit down? Zhou Shang's kind teasing came to Zhang Tian's ears again. Zhang Tian opened the window. Principal Zhou, please come in. After receiving Zhang Tian's invitation, Zhou Sheng stepped closer, bent down and climbed in through the window. Zhang Tian witnessed this scene from the side. The president of the second martial arts university in the country came to climb through the window of his house in the middle of the night. No matter how he thought about it, he found it strange. After entering the room, Zhou Sheng waved his hand gently, and blood energy emerged and enveloped the entire room. As a result, the room cannot be entered or exited, and the sound fluctuations cannot be transmitted. After finishing all this, Zhou Sheng looked Zhang Tian up and down. Good boy, we can take down so many first-level evil disciples and second-level evils. He is gifted and amazing. This incident is already being kept confidential. Once your terrifying talent is exposed, the foreign race will definitely try their best to kill you to prevent our human race from having a supreme power in the future. It's so careless, you shouldn't expose yourself so easily and leave a video message. Facing a series of words from Zhou Shang, Zhang Tianning could tell that they were doing it for his own good and thinking about him. Zhang Tian instead asked Zhou Shang, was it wrong for me to kill the Xinkongmen evildoers? Zhou Shang immediately replied, of course not. Zhang Tian, then, why should we hide the right things? Zhou Shang was startled, then laughed and nodded, you were right, why hide the right things? But you were right, sometimes you have to hide a little bit and don't let the enemy know the details. Zhang Tian also accepted the lesson with an open mind, I will pay attention to it in the future. At this point, Zhang Tian paused and asked curiously, Principal Zhou, is my talent really great? Zhou Shang, this question immediately silenced him. How come this kid doesn't have a clear understanding of his talent for a long time? 
Very strong. Zhou Shang nodded seriously. In fact, he wanted to say that he was the first person in history, but he was afraid that the young man would be too proud, so he restrained his words a little. After finishing speaking, Zhou Shang flashed the ring on his hand, and a bracelet appeared on his palm. The bracelet is unpretentious and even looks a little shabby. This thing is for life-saving purposes. I once fought against the Starry Sky Sect, and it is considered a trophy. Zhou Shang explained and handed it to Zhang Tian, indicating that he could integrate his blood into it. Zhang Tian looked at it carefully for a while. After the blood was poured into it, the message immediately appeared in his mind and he knew what this thing was. Death Bracelet When suffering a fatal blow, the bracelet will replace this death threat and break. Moreover, a defensive shield will be formed to lead him away quickly. It's equivalent to having an extra life. One can imagine how precious this thing is. Zhang Tian knew the true effect, so he wanted to take it off and give it back to Zhou Shang, but was stopped by the other party with a wave of his hand. Young people are the future, and you have such a talent. As an elder, as your senior, of course I have to protect you. This is a gift from me to you. It is given by the elders and cannot be said without. When Zhou Sheng spoke, his face was full of smiles, and when he looked at Zhang Tian, there was a different kind of expectation in his eyes. It seems that Zhang Tian is looking forward to what kind of surprises he can bring to the human race in the future. When he grows up, what kind of fear will he bring to the alien race? I came to you immediately this time for one more thing. Then, Zhou Shang spoke again and looked at Zhang Tian, I want to teach you what I have learned. My technique is special and it is difficult for anyone to inherit it. Maybe you can do it. I wonder if you would like to be my student. Zhang Tian was silent for a long time and looked at Zhou Shang apologetically. I'm sorry, Principal Zhou, I'm afraid I can't promise you. Zhou Sheng was stunned at first, and then his expression became a little disappointed. Everyone has their own ambitions, and he cannot force them. But he still wanted to know why, and asked Zhang Tian, can you tell me the reason? Is it because you have a favorite teacher or? Zhang Tian's expression was serious, I am determined to be a chef. If I become your student, I'm afraid it will embarrass you and waste your efforts. Zhou Sheng, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.